This is Kerbal Space Program Without Parachutes Part 2. In this challenge, I'm not allowed to use any parachutes or air brakes, meaning if I'm not careful with atmospheric planets, there will be casualties. Last time I explored Kerbin and the nearest space around it, and next up are the moons. But first, I need to get more science. Okay, first thing, I need to unlock advanced rocketry. The parts here would be necessary for all future missions. Like this one, for example, which you needed to go to space to collect science. It went up. It made an oopsie. It corrected said oopsie. It got science. And it landed. Then I built a bigger rocket. But somebody decided to overheat. It's fine, we didn't need it anyway, because we still got science. And we landed safely back home. Flight control. Then all I needed was some flight control and I could go to the moon, right? I was so, so wrong. This is the journey of how I spent 8 hours tackling Kerbin's moons. My first idea was to do a flyby of the moon. It seemed easy enough, and I'd get a lot of science from it. But then I remembered I don't have maneuver nodes unlocked, so it'd be impossible to go to the moon and back without dying. It also didn't help that I didn't have enough money to upgrade everything that I needed. do other stuff. I don't even know if I have enough fuel. So I started doing some missions to try to make more money. Uh-oh. We're going elsewhere. Okay, that's fine. Today we slingshotted two things into the middle of nowhere. But it's okay because I got money from it. With the newly acquired money I decided to upgrade the tracking station so that I could place maneuver nodes. Okay, so now if I go into the tracking center, we can place maneuver nodes! Unfortunately, I didn't have enough Delta V to go to the moon, though, so I returned home. Then I tried again with a bigger rocket. but I still didn't have enough fuel. Once I returned home, I needed a plan. If I couldn't figure out these three problems, then I couldn't possibly get to the moon. I started by gathering more science so that I can unlock fuel systems, which should solve my Delta V problem. Eventually I decided some science was better than none, so I launched a satellite to crash into the moon. I had a few problems gaining control of the rocket, but once I did it was smooth sailing. Things were going great. 
I was gathering so much science and then this was not good but I couldn't do anything about it so I just left with the science that I have Then I did some more missions for some more money. I built the rocket that I'd be going to the moon with, but I couldn't go just yet. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. That's all it tells me. Hey, why the hell can't you go to the moon yet? Because I'm broke. Okay. Before I went to the moon, I still needed more money, so I built another rocket that would do a flyby. Here's some nice cinematic footage. We're on fire! We're not on fire anymore, we're good. Nice. Now that I have plenty of money, I can finally go to the moon. So without wasting any more time, I launch. And things were actually going pretty smooth. The rocket wobbled a little bit, which scared me, but for the most part, it stayed on track. Now I had to position myself into orbit. I was starting to get used to it, so I had no problems here. Once I was in orbit, all I had to do was align myself with the moon. There was an explosion during detachment, but thankfully none of the landing gear exploded. I had to make a few small adjustments, but after that we were almost perfectly lined up with the moon. Then once we got close, I had my first spacewalk at the mission. I put myself into orbit. And then when I was ready, I put myself onto a collision course. Once I got close enough, I had my second spacewalk of the mission. And finally, I came in for a landing. But then we tipped over. But it is okay because we were still alive and I was pretty sure that I could lift myself off. We did it. We landed on the moon. Then of course I gathered more science. And now it was time to place the flag. I also found this strange looking rock over here. I'm gonna have so much science, bro. Once I had everything, I lifted off. Things were looking great, 
I still had a ton of Delta V left, but little did I know that I wouldn't be enough. I put myself in orbit and then I waited until I was lined up. Once I had a good looking trajectory, I started burning. Reentry was the scariest part of this mission. Burn too little and you burn up in the atmosphere. Burn too much and you run out of fuel. By some miracle, I survived reentry with just enough fuel to slow down. Or so I thought. We're not going to have enough fuel to slow down. <laughs> We're going to have to jump. Swim for your life. You have to make it. It's the only way. We made it! Holy! 600 more science? <laughs> we gotta rescue Bob. That's crazy. We can upgrade this. After this, I unlocked a bunch of things on the tech tree. Then I made an upgraded version of the rocket that I go to Minmus with. To Minmus. Again, it was a little wobbly, but it was mostly under control. Once I was in orbit, I lined myself up and started going there. Again, I had to make a few adjustments, but after that we were pretty nicely lined up. Then I had my first spacewalk of the mission, and I lowered my parapsis for a lower orbit. I got into orbit and I carefully positioned myself so that I'd land on one of the lakes. After my second spacewalk, I came in for a landing. And this time I actually landed upright. You know the drill by now, collect science. Then of course planting the flag.
Wow. I would land in multiple spots, but honestly, I'm not trying to spend another 30 minutes trying to land again. So I'm just going to go home. And so I left. Getting back from Minmus was actually way easier than the moon because of how little fuel I had to burn. Wait, I went. I went into orbit the wrong way. Oops. That's fine. And then I slingshotted myself back towards Kerbin. Now all that was left was re-entry and landing. Re-entry went much smoother this time because I had more feel. And I finished it off with a beautiful landing. We made it! Holy 912 science! And with the science, I unlocked a massive chunk of the tech tree. Thanks for watching until the end. If you like the series, like for part 3, because next up is Duna. And bye.